Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is evening prayer for Thursday, August the 8th. It's the 11th week after Pentecost, and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. And thanks for joining me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God Most High, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Alleluia. Psalms 85 and 86, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, O God Most High, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. You forgave the iniquity of your people. You pardoned all their sin. You withdrew all your wrath. You turned from your hot anger. Restore us again, O God of our salvation. Put away your indignation toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again, so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your steadfast love, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what you will say, for you will speak peace to your people, to your faithful, to those who turn to you in their hearts. Surely your salvation is at hand for those who fear you that your glory may dwell in our land. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. You will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before you, and will make a path for your steps. Alleluia. Incline your ear, O God Most High, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am devoted to you. Save your servant who trusts in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O God, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O God, I lift up my soul. For you are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O God, to my prayer, and listen to my cry of supplication. In the day of my trouble I call on you, for you will answer me. There is none like you among the gods, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things, you alone are God. Teach me your ways, O Most High, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. I will give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For great is your steadfast love toward me, you have delivered my soul from the depths of Sheol. O oh God, the insolent rise up against me. A band of ruffians seeks my life. They do not set you before them. But you, O oh God, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Turn to me and be gracious to me. Give your strength to your servant and save the child of your maidservant. Show me a sign of your favor, so that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame, because you, God, have helped me and comforted me. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God Most High, you were favorable to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. Leah and Rachel. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to John, 
chapter 1, beginning at verse 43. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip, and he said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know him? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Comfort us and help us, O beloved God. Teach us your ways, that we may walk in your truth and in your tender mercy. Save us by your strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul. Alleluia. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.